Hi everyone, Bob here. Thought I'd take a quick minute and do a video and show you my little setup, what I use whenever I'm tying knots. Uh, start off with base, it's just a little Walmart table, fold up table here. I added a couple items to it and made it so that I can bolt it down. I'll go ahead and remove this PVC, three quarter inch PVC bracket that I made. This makes a good holder for my camera whenever I'm doing videos and also if I'm going to make a, a larger lane or something belt hanging that I can fasten it to that versus the surface. But basically took a cap on it, a um, couple bolts here, drilled through so that I drill through the tabletop and mount them. That way they screw off simple little button type knobs. Same thing with the little rings here. Uh, I'll use this to run my dowels through to hold it whenever I'm working on various things. But it's just a simple matter of getting a um, eye bolt, drilling a hole through it, line up for me. And, and here again, just got a little knob picked up, used to tighten it down on the bottom. Take the other one off and show how this table folds up. It's really nice. Makes it easy to carry. Check so the tables here. Got both the fold up top and legs. You also got some extension here, to give you a little bit of extra height uh, for working. This allows you to fold up the bottom one. Legs can be a little bit different. It's it's built pretty rugged for something that you get from Walmart. Little button on top, let you fold it down, and it folds down nice and carry, ready to go. So, uh, model on this here shows it being a 37119 BLK1W. If you ever wanted to look it up on the line, there again, it just simply snaps out various heights, whatever height you want to set it at. It gives you different angles too. It's really made for more of like a computer workstation, but makes a great knot tying station too. Once again, to mount it, got the bolts that have been affixed into this little stand. I got to do it and get ready to use it then. Let's go ahead and screw it down. Oh, I used the wrong one. <sighs> Got to make sure you use the right size, though. That helps. I think that would be the one thing I would do different if I made another one, is make sure that both my stand here, or riser, and my hooks were the same size so I can use the same fittings on it. With that said, yeah, what's the luck? I've got two of each size and I picked two of the wrong ones right out of the bat. So like I said, that mounts there for you. It gives a nice little stand that I can work with. And these here. and run the bolts on now that I know which sides to use. And you're ready to go. So it only takes a couple seconds to break it down. It only takes a couple seconds to put it back together again. I generally don't even bother taking these rings off though when I'm traveling. I'll pull this top off so it folds up and uh, be a little bit more compact. But I don't even bother taking the little eye rings uh, here that I have off. But that's what I like to use. Thought I'd just give you a quick show of it and let you know what's out there. Talk to you later. Bye.